Spawning in the bottom left position as the orange Terran player. We have down 1-0 in this best of three. It is Root Gaming's Illusion. And his opponent in the top right position up 1-0. Spawning as a red Terran player from Team Empire, it is Koss. So, Koss, very interesting, exciting game, um, that first game. The base trades were quite real, but Koss now has himself in a pretty good position for this series. And I, I, I like Koss's position. You know, Illusion had probably the best start you can really get to a Terran versus Terran. Like, you, you don't have many other, uh, you know, you, you're not going to start a game better than killing 22, like 20 SCVs with your Banshee. And then, you know, Illusion, all he had to do was just play it safe, hold off the aggression that, that followed from Koss, and it would have been a pretty easy win for him. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. And now, now it's a bit of an interesting situation. So we have what looks to be a Reaper opening from Illusion, Barracks, Quick Gas, and Koss, either a delayed gas build or a one Barracks Fast Expand. So, should be a good, uh, safe opener from Koss. Koss showing very quickly. He does not have, he's not a big fan of the Reaper. He's not, he doesn't want to open up Reaper on this map. He just want to defend, protect, and just do, do you know, really whatever he has to do to, uh, to stay alive against the aggression that Illusion can bring. Illusion's kind of one of those players that you look at and it's like, he's kind of, he is classically a, uh, he is classically a aggressive Terran. That's one of the things I would say Illusion is most known for, is being aggressive, um, trying to utilize his control to win, etc. And I like it. I like I like it a lot. It's it's one of the things that makes Illusion fun. It's, it's a great contrast to um, Koss, who doesn't have exactly... <clears throat> The most aggressive style. He's, he likes to play. He likes to play pretty passively. Doesn't do anything crazy, and yeah. So it's it's just a, it's just cool to see these guys up against each other as they now go out to scout. So the Reaper will kill. Oh, actually no. Costs will get through with this SCV. Okay, he brings the Reaper back, and uh, well, Illusion gets a read on him. He's gonna kill this SCV. And now command center on the way for illusion. So he's just doing a very safe build. Cost expanding in turn. Both these builds kind of kind of pan out at the same time. So it's factory on the way now. And illusion is going to move it across the map with that reaper. So let's see uh, what he can do here as the factories are on the way for both players. And Second gas on the way for Illusion. So these are pretty standard openings. The Reaper gets in. Doesn't get too much of anything. No kills. And picked off. Actually, he's really, really nice. Second Reaper will come in, though. And this is the confirmation scout. Now he can see the factory. He can see that there... Actually, I think he saw with the first one that there was no second gas. So now he knows it's just a one gas build. He actually kills an SCV. So to build that starport, he needs to pull another worker off the line. Hellions in production. And he actually does kill that Reaper from the low ground. So starport on the way, but with one gas, he wasn't really looking to do too much with the starport anyway. And Illusion starts his starport at like pretty much the same time. So Illusion's expansion is done. He's actually gonna really okay. I was gonna say I'd expect him to build the orbital before he moves it out. Bunker is on the way, just to be safe because Koss is pushing out with a lot of Marines and Hellion follow up. This is a relatively standard time to attack a Terran. In TVT, this is a great uh, window of opportunity that you can exploit to try to punish um, a Terran that doesn't build their bunker. Because the Reaper play, the Reaper build just gives you a lot less units than most others. And Illusion recognizes this. That's why the bunker is here. That's why he's moving these Marines down. And delaying that starport was pretty nice. He's at cost actually trying to get onto that tech lab now. So it looks like it'll be Banshee from him. And Illusion's building a Viking. So Illusion's got to be happy about this. Bunker does a great job of protecting him, and his Hellions are going to poke, and Koss, eh, <laughs> Illusion's actually ready to take this fight. Not bad. He uh, picks off a few Marines, a little bit of little pepper here and there. Uh, and now Illusion's actually going straight into Marine Tank, 
which is kind of cool. Oh wow, actually no, he's he's not going to build tanks. <laughs> Illusion, a little indecisive. It turns, he decides he actually does want to go Banshee after all, as Cloak has begun for Koss. Let's see. Let's see what he can do here. Um, Raven on the way for Illusion. Okay, so he isn't going to go Banshee. He just wants to be safe against the potential... Um, Banshee play from his opponent, which makes a lot of sense. So, Stimpak's on the way for Illusion. And, yeah, Banshee on the way out for Koss. So, this is a pretty, this, this, this game is just kind of going pretty slowly. Uh, the only player that's really committed to attack is Illusion, who has pretty clearly stated that he wants to play for uh, Bio. And Koss has not yet 100% decided on anything. He's been producing Hellions. He's getting some mines out now. Um, nothing like Blue Flame, though. And actually, oh, this tower should be able to hold on to this. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Did that... Wow, that guy's, that guy's a boss. Banshee's moving into the main base of Illusion for Koss. And, oh, Illusion's going to try to run by some Hellions. But, he, yeah, there's too much there. He has a bunch of Hellions waiting at home. The Banshee is here for Koss. Uh, Marines are not in position. He has the Viking with the Raven, though. And that should be enough to defend. But he's going to lose some workers in the meantime as Illusion's push is uh, shoved back by the Hellions that Koss has. He has a Widow Mine at the tower actually as well. Which should maybe kill this Marine? No? Okay, he doesn't have to waste the mine shot, which is quite nice. This mine... Koss has actually made some good use of these mines. He's picked off a couple units. And that's not bad. The The threat is real. This is, uh, this is pretty nice. I don't think... I wonder if he can get that mine. Illu Koss could just run his Hellions over and try to catch him here. And he will not. Okay. Not like he really had to. But one thing that's so big this game is Koss's third base once again. Cal the, the third base once again is here. And it's it's so nice because Koss has just had the control of this game from the very beginning. Um he, tra you know, he made the first push that didn't really do much damage, but in the Terran versus Terran, it's largely about momentum. And this third base gives him such a huge boost in momentum. Uh, the only weakness right now for Koss, as far as his build order goes, is he's very low on actual like power units. He doesn't have any tanks out on the map. He doesn't have too many Vikings. He has a reasonable number of Hellions, though. And Oh, actually, this, this Marine, he sees the drop. He should know. He shouldn't take any damage. Yeah, the Hellions are, are going to run home and defend. Meanwhile, this Marine for Koss, we'll see if he tries to take this... Uh, this third. Oh, Illusion does not see that Marine there. That is a bit unfortunate. Illusion scans the main and he sees Koss is going mech. That blue flame researching. Starting up uh, the reactor in the tech lab. He's actually playing just four factory. Illusion can't get in with this drop. But Illusion's still only on two bases. Now the third is almost halfway done. But still really difficult to actually get up a, a, sizable, a sizable army count. The Hellions are here trying to fight from the high ground. And those Vikings with the with the Raven are basically saying, yeah, you better get out of here. You're not going to get anything done. But he's actually going to chase with the Hellions, with the Vikings. There's a long way across this map to go. Leaves one Marine at the tower. That will get killed. And he still has this Widow Mine here. Super annoying. And Koss has no difficulty chasing whatsoever. There's... Uh, actually, Tank got stuck. Ouch. The add-on positioning is not... Not ideal, it would seem. Of course, once he moves to the 3rd Command Center, that won't be a problem anymore. Um... And now, Illusion sneaks a few Hellions by again. Can he finally get something? There's a bunch of missile turrets on the way to stop the drops. And he actually might be able to get in the third. All the Hellions for Koss are positioned to go to that, the, what would potentially be the third base for Illusion. So, Illusion needs to kill some workers. He needs to get something. He's way down on supply. He's way down on the workers. Um, and yeah, this is exactly what he wanted. Kill some of these SCVs. Pull himself back into this game. Get, him, get himself a new leg, really. Uh, or a new a new lease on life, as it were. So, now Hellbat production is going into play for Koss. Yeah, these Hellions still alive for Illusion are nice. And look at this. He brought the SCV count so much closer. You know, he killed 12 total. It's 57 to 51. And now the supply... I mean, it was kind of even before, but the reason why I said this is, is bad for Illusion is, as a bio player, your supply builds up faster than the mecking player, but your units also die a lot more quickly. So you need to be able to replace them at the same pace that, uh, that you're trading them. So 
to have less workers means that you don't have uh, the same the same potential to resupply. And if you're on even supply with a mecking player, that puts you in a really bad spot. Um, uh, you always want to be, it's kind of like Terran versus Protoss, you always want to have a supply lead against the mecking player, uh, no matter what stage of the game it is. So, lots of Vikings, lots of Hellions to defend against drops, to defend against the mobile pressure. And the tank count is starting to bolster though. He's starting to really crank them out three at a time. Extra factory going up. And I love this. He's like had this Marine out here the whole game just watching for drops, watching for anything. Um, let's see. I don't know where that scan was. Oh, I guess he killed the mine. I was like, I was like where did he scan? What was he scanning for? Combat shield's finally going to complete at 15 minutes. But Illusion has a third base, so you know what? He's he's doing what he's got to do. Two Marines are watching the uh, the bottom the bottom area, and he's got a Raven here with his ten Vikings, and the Marauders are starting to push out. This is a good position for Illusion. If he can catch this army unseaged, this would be a great way to take this game. In fact, is he going to go for another base trade style move? He's avoiding the vision of his opponent. Might he be able to do something here? He's scanning. He's looking. He sees the army, and I think Illusion's ready to go for... Oh, no. He's going to try to sandwich him. Does he have any forces that is natural to join up here? Oh, there's the siege. Koss knows. Koss knows what's going on. He smells He smells something fishy. And now the Vikings can go pick up uh, a few Hellions. No, nothing big there. Big drop moving out for Illusion, though. He's going to try to go for... I, I don't know. This is, this is pretty ballsy. There are still some units at home to defend, and he has a sizable chunk of his army left back here. But he's doing some poking. He's trying to buy himself time. One drop over at the fourth base trying to cancel that. This drop, though, there's so many missile turrets. Illusion loses a ton of his forces. Now he's going to charge up the main base ramp, but there's tanks everywhere. And Koss, Koss is not going to break here. Um, Illusion seems, I don't know, he, he's still kind of like at a reasonable supply. The only reason I'm not calling this game over is because Illusion's supply is still kind of decent. He still has, his, he still has the same number of workers. He hasn't lost his whole army yet. Um, and he's been he's been macroing pretty hard back at home. He's, he's put out a lot more forces, but this army from Koss is still really scary. He, he Illusion traded about as well as he could have, but he lost a lot of units trying to make that big drop play into the natural of of Koss, and it's just it's just so hard to make work. So this is uh, this is a tough position for Illusion still. He stopped the first Doom March push of Koss, but now he has to now he has to really take a huge fight and if illusion cannot get a huge max out spread contain smash grab whatever you want to call it he has absolutely no chance at all of winning this game so let's see he's moving out towards he scans the tower and Koss wants to end this. Koss wants to bring down the hammer on Illusion's head. Tanks are going to siege. Bio's going to stim forward. Koss's tanks are not siege yet. The Marauders need to spread out. The point defense drone doing wonders to stop this push, though. And that might be all Koss needs. The PDD coming in. And he still has enough energy for another, even if there was 100 Marauders storming through here. Koss also securing the fourth base in the top left. He's, he's just got to be feeling so good. His, his upgrades, plus two attack. Illusion, just about to get his plus two attack. Just too little, too late, it would seem. And he's going to push in once again, trying to spread that force up. But another point, Defense Drone, is Koss's way of saying, uh, no, GG. I'm moving on to the round of 16. And Illusion, you cannot stop me. Medivac's getting picked off a few Marines and Marauders in the north will not be able to turn the tides of this game just yet. Illusion is going to make his last desperate hold here. He's stepping forward, trying to snipe the tanks. Gets one. He's trying to spread out. Maybe get a second one. He does, but the point defense drone still able to lend some assistance in this fight is enough. Illusion, well, his third base is gone, and with that, so his tournament run. Koss is already remaxed at 200 supply, pulling the SCVs, and now the Vikings will land as well to finish peppering down these workers. Illusion is done and dusted down 100 supply to his opponent and uh, pretty much now just waiting just waiting there's nothing it's all over but the tears at this point as illusion tries to save his third base but the tanks are here the vikings well they take damage from the marauders and the tanks but i just don't know if he can save this he's not giving up marauder picks off one tank two tanks and uh, the vikings don't do too much damage to these but he wants to kill the command center Auto turret dropped as well to help deal with this. The Marines storm in. And, uh, well, we might be able to kill these medevacs. It's something. Marines still stimming for illusion. He's trying to pick off some units in the center of the map. Marauders, uh, hard to kill unit. And I'm impressed with 
I'm impressed by Illusion's tenacity staying here, actually trying to stay in this game. Um, I don't know. That's tough. Um, but, uh, yeah, Illusion's gonna push forward now. It's gonna clean up a few more units. Is is Koss? No, there's no way Koss can throw this game. No, he Koss is too big of an army. He can almost just aim move him at this point. Um, I don't know what Illusion can really do here. He's just hoping for the greatest trades ever. Illusion has managed to claw himself back up to 100 supply. He's managed to get a fourth command center out, but he cannot engage this army. There's absolutely no way that he can engage this army. He simply can't. There's his, his army's way too powerful. He'll just die if he fights it straight up. There's so many hellbats with this force, so many hit points to tank damage. Um, and is even does he have a raven still? Okay, no energy for like a PDD, but still. It's gonna be quite hard. Yeah, he had to drop an auto turret earlier. And Kaz now can just slowly inch his way forward. There's so many hellbats here. The, the tanking power, the tanking potential is uh is is too is too strong, so. Let's see. Yikes. Koss is just... Koss is just getting ready to drop it in, really. I don't know what Illusion can do. He's managed to get much more supply than I ever thought possible. But... I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. He's he's got a spread. Can he sandwich this army? There's so much. There's so there's so big. I guess this is it. Illusion's gonna try to go for it. He's got no options. The drop at the same time, hitting from two directions at once. He needs to spread the bio a little bit better. He's on top of the tanks. He's attacking, but there's so many hellbats. There's so much tanking potential. GG. Illusion taps out and costs will advance to the round of 16. GG. Well.